Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, today on this show I will be touching on the H3H3 versus the Matt Hawthorne situation as well as FUPA. But first I want to apologize to you guys. I know I told a bunch of you on Twitter and stuff that I was working on the Gators of Our Lives episode. I still plan on getting that out very soon. I just I feel like this is something very important and I feel like it's my responsibility to touch on it. Now I know this isn't my usual type of video so I'll do my best here. My basic understanding of the situation is H3H3 did just a basic review of one of this guy's videos um, and this guy wanted to be cut in and I guess he just kept asking for more and more and more and more and H3H3 is like, you know, this isn't a hostage situation, you can't just demand all this and was like, no. So Matt Hallzone decided it was time to sue the fuck out of them like a little bitch that he is and hence all the problems that have occurred uh, and then FUPA uh, came into existence because people started donating money to them to help them with their legal fees and everything and they ended up getting way more than they ever thought they would so they're taking all that excess money putting it into this you know this account or whatever the FUPA account um, to help out other YouTubers when the same situation arises um, which is such a great thing uh, for all of us to have out there for us and such a great thing to witness all these YouTubers come together. Now there's only two possible explanations that I could come up with that this Matt Hoss is doing this shit. Either one, he was truly offended by this video, which I was lucky enough to get to view. And that one will, would really just fucking piss me off because you have no idea what it's like to be hated on. In that video, not only did they barely hate on you, at one point they literally say that you should be on television and have your own TV show. And after seeing that, he reiterates, no, seriously, I think this guy would be good for television. Oh, you poor motherfucker. That must be really fucking hard to hear. Yeah, time to fucking sue, right? So, if you think that that's hate, go check out the videos iDubs TV made about my channel. Go check that shit out, and then come back to me. But let's be honest, it had absolutely nothing to do with him not liking the video or whatever. It really comes down to one very, very small thing that is running rampant through this world right now, and it's really the driving force behind almost every evil thing that's out there, and it's greed. Greed is a virus that is sweeping through this world at a rapid pace, and now you're seeing it on YouTube. At first, it was just all these big organizations uh, coming in and doing all these copy right strikes and everything and that's all we had to deal with now it's youtuber on youtuber which is just stupid we're supposed to stand together not attack each other you're a greedy son of a bitch and it's pathetic i mean how much money are they really going to make off that one video anyways maybe a couple hundred bucks i tell you what matt hoss drop the fucking lawsuit I'll give you my email address, you send me where you want me to send you $200. I'll send you the $200 fucking dollars they could have possibly made off that fucking video if they got a, you know, a couple million views or whatever. It wasn't that fucking much money for you to drive people through court and everything like a piece of fucking shit, like a fucking pussy. The best part about it is he calls himself the bold guy. Do you have any idea what bold means? Look it up in the fucking dictionary, because suing somebody is not bold. It's pathetic. It's loser-ish. It's fucking weak bro weak matt hoss i implore you if it is possible this late in life for you to grow a pair of balls go ahead and do that and drop your stupid ass lawsuit and stop making yourself look like a dumbass cunt pardon my language i don't like using the c word but this guy he's just he's an embodiment of that word if you ask me moving on the bigger issue at hand is youtube now I believe it was Boogie2988 that I saw say this in a video, I may be wrong, um, but he said that YouTube has a guilty until proven innocent mentality when it comes to these copyright notices, these copyright strikes that they're putting out there. And that is really fucked up. That is not how this world works. That's not how, that's not how you do things. Not right, it's messed up. It's innocent until proven guilty. Honestly, I didn't even realize it but I've been ignoring my copyright notices. I thought, you know what, I'm not making any money off these videos, maybe a couple bucks here and there, it's not a big deal. But then I'm starting to think about it, there are thousands upon thousands of me's out there that are ignoring these notices because they think we're, we're just small channels, we don't mean anything. But when all these small channels add up, guess what? All these places are taking tons and tons and tons of money because of greed. It's all about greed. All of this is because of greed. It's fucking horrible and it's sad and I can't believe that's where we're at right now we're beyond this as a freaking species we are beyond this I'll go over a few of my copyright notices 
I took a video uh, where you know hot dogs were made, and I put it down, and I did a voiceover the entire thing, and I made up my own music with it and all that stuff, and I was trying to be funny, you know, did my own little thing. That got a copy strike notice. I had another video where I talk about how I got new glasses, and for about 10 seconds I inputted, I think, a Justin Bieber song or something, being goofy, a copyright notice. I did a weird lip singing thing where I did a lot of editing and stuff, make myself look really weird, but I did use a popular song, copy strike editing. I or copy notice, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I use a song from Greece that you can barely freaking hear in a video called Office Dance Party, which no one watches it because the Grease song is in there. They watch it because it's one of the cringiest videos on YouTube, and we're dancing like a bunch of hooligans from 2002, 2005, whatever. And that's why they're watching. They don't give a shit. It could have been any song in the background, but I got a copy strike notice for that. Rebecca Black, she put a copyright notice on my uh, Friday selfie dance song. Hell, that song died out forever ago. You're welcome. I brought you some more attention. This isn't about me, though, you know? It's not about any one of us. It's about all of us. And it's about us standing up and saying, we're not going to take this bullshit. Every time I turn around, I look on the news, I read articles. It's always about how the big guys want to keep the little guy down. And the little guy's always getting picked on, always getting bullied. We've come so far away from that kind of mentality in this world. It's sad to still see it. It's sad to definitely see it someplace like YouTube that is all about the freedom of speech and fair use. That's what YouTube was founded on. A place where we could get together, the little guys can get together and put out our big ideas. But now we're being bullied. Now we're being smacked down by corporations, by now bigger YouTubers. And by fucking YouTube. YouTube isn't doing their part. The guilty till proven innocent mentality needs to stop. I shouldn't have 12 copyright notices on my thing. I saw another small channel. The guy only had 28 subs. And he got copyright notices put against him. For music that he purchased. So he wouldn't get copyright notices put against him. And now he has to go and fight that. And hope YouTube decides to give it to him. I sent YouTube a message on why one of my videos had a notice on it. And that was a week ago. I just wanted to know why. I didn't even ask them to turn it over. I just said, hey, can you just explain to me why there's a notice on it? Because they didn't tell me why I wasn't able to monetize that video. I just wasn't allowed. It was a haters gonna hate video of all videos. Where all I'm doing is reading hate comments. I don't even understand how that could be copyright noticed. But it was. And I've yet to get a message back. And this is the problem. This is the problem that we're all facing. And unless we stand up, unless we say something, nothing will change. There will be no difference made. Don't make a difference. Be the difference. If you want to change something, you have to make your voice heard. That's why everyone's making these videos. Because they're tired of this. I'm tired of reading how this is happening to everybody. Honestly, I don't give a shit about myself. I give a shit about all these people out there, these creators out there that are putting their blood, sweat, and tears into this shit. I spend maybe an hour a week on this because I don't have that much time to put towards it. But these other people are spending 40 hours a week sometimes dealing with this stuff and putting together these magnificent videos just to be copyright noticed about it and have to fight tooth and nail to get paid on it and hope, please, please, God, let, let's hope that I don't get sued by somebody for this. All because they just want to make some content to entertain some people and to show off their artistic abilities. It's pathetic. It's pathetic that this is allowed to go on and it needs to stop. And Matt Haas, you're part of the problem. You're not part of the solution. You're a huge part of the problem. You're tipping the scales in the wrong direction. Get your shit together and stop being a fucking pussy. It's pathetic. It's sad. And I gotta stop here because I can't deal with this. This is why I don't do videos like this. Because when I truly care about something, I get too upset about it. Because it's pathetic. I hate watching smaller people be picked on. I hate watching people who are doing absolutely nothing wrong have to pay consequences for it. They're raising hundreds of thousands of dollars to help with lawyer fees. We could be raising hundreds of thousands of dollars to help with poor people, homeless people, people who actually need some fucking help. But instead, we're too busy looking out for our own backs to make sure we don't lose everything that we've worked hard for because of people like you, Matt Haas. Because of people like you. Get your shit together. It's sad. It's pathetic. I'm sorry. I really got to end this. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Gator. You guys have been great. I'll try to get Gators for our lives out very soon, guys. Don't let this shit happen.
Stand up, guys. Speak out. Like I said, don't make a difference. Be the difference. That's how you really make a change in this world. Peace.